gets real. Guys, it, it's no more like what, what we're done with the Premier League. We're done with La Liga. We're done with the Bundesliga. We're done with the, with the Big Mac League. We're done with the Portugal League. We're done with the Saudi League. We're done with the Antarctica League. We're done with the Alaskan League. This is where it gets real. Guys, this is the channel was supposed to put the UCL. Guys, it's all about the UCL. You see, this is where legends are made. This is, I told you guys, I'm all about legacy. We're all about legacy. I'm a narrative merchant. Your league titles, they're cool. Your FA Cups, they're cool. Your Carabao Bookers, they're cool. Your Copa Rose, they're cool. Their DP Bookers, they're cool. We, we judge you on your World Cups, your Afcons, your Copa Americas, your Asian Cups, your Euros, and your freaking UCLs. If you don't have any of these, get the heck out of this freaking room, man. And guys, it doesn't come any bigger than this. The European Classico. This is the matchup of two European heavyweights. No lightweights, super European heavyweights of Bayern against Real Madrid. Now, just a little backlog. They faced each other um, 23 times. They faced each other 23 times. Bayern have won 12, Real have won 11. But what makes it interesting, the last time Bayern Munich beat Real Madrid was way back 11-12. Um, in the first leg where they won 2-1. Of course, that was the time in which, of course, Kaka, Ramos, and Bifo Cristina missed the penalties and Schweinsteiger scored the key penalty. But you all know what happened in that final. <laughs> so, you see, there are very, there are different ways to look at this tie. You see, you can look at this tie on the surface or you can go in. Because if you look at it on the surface, it's like, wait, 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 hang on. You couldn't beat Salzburg in? You lost those bummers and never cousin losers? The heck? What? A struggle called Boniface? No. Come on. This guy, this guy, this guy's are freaking washed. This is a Real Madrid who have already won La Liga pretty much. Have one of the hottest young times in the world in your boy Jude Bellingham. Has arguably the best player in the world in Vinicius Jr. E easy money. E easy money. But if you go deeper, there is a two call narrative. So we're going to go to the token narrative. Let's just deal with admin. So it's going to be last minute dips for your boys' band. So Lima, Delict, Upamecano, Musiela, Sane, they're all doubtful. So they'll be assessed literally just before kickoff on Tuesday. But it's likely that they'll start. But, you know, there's just been a little bit of worry as to whether they will start. Now, I, I believe Musiala... He's he's already back into trading, and they said that he's likely to start. Also, your boy Fabrizio tweeted out, so Musiala is likely to start. But if you're buying, you need as many bodies as possible because what you want are options, options, options. So you can now employ the right kind of strategy that you freaking want. And um, for Real Madrid, there's only one miss, which is of course Dani Cavajal, who received a yellow, so he's actually missing the next leg due to suspension. How big is that? It's I mean, it is. I feel like they can really make make do. Yes, he's older. Yes, this is him post heart surgery. Cavallo has been a beast for Real Madrid, and he was huge. He was huge in that monumental performance against Man City. So I do feel that is a sizable miss. It's not a miss that's going to be the end of the world for Real Madrid, but it is a critical miss because Dani Cavallo has been huge for Real Madrid. Um, mind games, mind games. Get into the circle. Um the the shell. He's just playing mind games. That's yo 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 Surge. <laughs> what, 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 what about your boy Surge? Said, he said Janabri is gonna score. He doesn't know how, doesn't know when he said Janabri is gonna score. Scriptic? Creepy? Interesting. Doesn't isn't Janabri on a weight loss plan? We don't know. Maybe perhaps. Hazard, what's up, baby? He lives. Um so they took says Janabri was called. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is he doing this to try to G up Janabri? Is he doing this to try to like make Real Madrid second guess themselves, which I don't think they will because they're so experienced with the boy Calangelotti? It just makes things very interesting. It makes it very interesting. Um But I'm so so look. Holistically, before we get into the dressing rooms, Real Madrid are the favorites. 100% they're the favorites here. And I do feel if Real Madrid play their game, they can win this leg. So I'm focusing on this leg. Focus on this leg. For this leg in particular, 
Real can go for the win. They don't need the win. I think it's two one is 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 is, is fine for Real. It's two one is fine. A draw, amazing. But I think if you're Carlo and you're Real Madrid, you're like, hmm, let's go ahead and, and, and win this. So it's going to be interesting to see Real Madrid's approach and how aggressively they go to actually chase a win or they, or they just ch go to chase a respectable result. Now, Bayern, they have to win. And for me, the X factor in this whole thing, people will look at, oh, Kane is going to be important, which he's going to be. Musiala, the X factor in this is Tuchel. Because the only way Bayern, Bayern, they're the inferior team. They are the inferior team on paper. The only way that Bayern go through is Tuchel's strategy and his tactics. Let's be real. Tuchel's tactics and strategy won them the game over Arsenal. Arsenal, on paper, everyone thought they, 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 they did beat Bayern. So, what Tuchel is going to do strategically for both legs, I think, is going to be interesting. But specifically for this leg, you know you have to win. How do you shut down and nullify Real Madrid? How do you suppress their dangers? And how do you exploit their defense? Specifically, with Danny Cabajal missing, how do you maybe exploit that area of the defense? Also, keep in mind that Rudiger has been huge. Rudiger has actually been one of the most consistent performers in the UCL this freaking season. So it gets real. It gets fully real. So let's go into the dressing rooms and let's just let me give the pep talks to both of these guys. Trophy less. So I, I, I spoke to the to the kitty up. I spoke to the the keep your pancakes. Your pancakes. I, I, I said yo 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 man. These guys could get, could um, end up trophyless man. You know the, the team that's doing trouble with they could be trophyless this season. You know what he said to me? He said Shaliza. <laughs> what do I say? I said whoa. I was like <laughs> nurses. <laughs> Heart monitor, <laughs> watch out, <laughs> you know, what's up, you know, you're old, you know, and heart monitor. I was like, chill, chill. I said, yup, relax. Don't, you're in a heart monitor, you don't want to really stress yourself. Remember, age tax. I respect my elders. Guys, I'm in Nigeria, we respect our elders. But yup was like, excuse me, Bayern's a good forfeit, not that. That's not on Bayern's radar, they don't go to Because the, the Bayern batch, it means a sign. So, I'm talking to all of you guys right now. You're Bayern Munich. And the badge means little sign. Because let's, let's keep it a stack. We, we all, every single bookmaker said you'd take it down to Arsenal. After all, you play in the Farmers League. They play in the Premier League. You lost to Starbucks FC. They're battling City for the Premier League Championship. So you, you, you lost. Do you know what, why you won? You didn't win because of your talent. You didn't win because of luck or strategy or tactics. It was the badge. The badge. Oritage is a real thing. Now, not only do you have to bring us to this game, you have to now take it to the next level. Because Arsenal is one thing. See, Arsenal is like the, the first or second boss you, you fight. This is arguably the final boss. <laughs> this, 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 is, this is arguably a tougher opponent than whoever you face in the final. So... You're going to have to play, play a perfect game. Jamal, you're young. You're young. Yeah, I, I watched your, your video with um, Serge Ibaka, you know, you know, eating food and everything. It was, it was cool. See, Jamal, you're young, but you're ready. See, I don't give a damn how young you are, what your age is. You're ready right now. Because what she did to come clutch, to win Bayern Munich, that's how that she didn't really deserve to win. Shows me that you are ready. What you did at that World Cup, your first World Cup, shows me that you are ready. And Jamal, you're going to have to be, be huge. You're going to have to have to be, be, be key because you are going to play a very important position in terms of the transition of the freaking team. So you're going to have to be, be key. Dio, Upamecano, don't be a bozo. Don't be a bozo. And the guy next to you, Matis Delict, don't be a triple bozo. As much as Pomecano is a bozo, Delicto, you're even a greater bozo. <laughs> you're a bozo 2.0. So, Pomecano may, may be dumb, Delict, you are dumber. Be smart. Be intelligent. Focus! Focus! Because you're going up against a lethal Real Madrid attack. If you make a mistake, a slip, you're screwed. Manuel! Manuel! No, yeah, we, we know you're, you're a goat. You're a great 
you're potentially going to end up being a husband when you retire. So your legacy is set. Your legacy is fully set. But you, you're going to have to lead this team, both on the pitch and off the pitch, because they're going to be looking at your leadership. UCL winner, treble winner, walk away. You've done it all. You've got the full set, baby. We know your legacy is set. But you see, Noya, despite that walk up dub, the treble dub, this campaign could arguably be one of your greatest ever, based on the circumstances, based on the season you've had, the ridicule, the abuse, the insults, the stoning. To lead this team not only to a dub over Real Madrid or a dub of, for the whole UCL could be huge. It would be your finest hour. It would be a financial. You're already a legend, ready, but it would further cement you as even, an even greater legend. If you do this, good who? Good who? Okay. Franz who? Franz Beck boo? Baggy be baggy be boo boo. Harriet. <laughs> this is why you were brought here. You were not, you were not brought here for a freaking. Um, Bundesliga, you're not broken for a DFB book, you're not broken for a Super Cup. You thought you could just waltz in and just win a Super Cup like that? No, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Ironically, this is actually what you were brought here for was the Champions League. So you may be disappointed and slightly embarrassed based on the abuse you're receiving online by my gosh, this guy did with the Bundesliga. Are these guys only 11 years old? Is this guy really a sports jinx? But you were brought here for it. Nobody pays that kind of money or cash for a freaking Bundesliga. They pay that money for a freaking Champions League, like a UCL. Because a UCL, that's what's made you elite. Le Before Lewandowski won that UCL, he was a start padding bomb. We called him a start padding bomb from the streets of Warsaw. He won the UCL, he's a legend. You're going to have to be huge in this game. Your first touch, your control. You won't even battle against a Rudiger, potentially a Militao or even a nat Nacho as well. How you utilize the ball. And if that chance comes, Kane, you can't miss a 1v1. If you get a 1v1 and a sniff, you've got to execute. You have to execute. You never show, you never show up in the UCL semi. We all know that disaster clause you put for the UCL final. So this is what makes you an elite player. You're not world class. It doesn't matter what all the English media says. We, the real football guys, we know you're not world class. You are only world class if you show up in games like this against opponents like this. So Kane, if you want us to take you seriously as a world class player, this is where you have to say what's up. We fly like an eagle. Or will you crawl like a hedgehog? They, they, they say it's already done. You know, like after Rudiger and Tony, wait, I'll tell you, break. See, Antonio, see, after you hit that penalty, do you know what they said? Easy money. <laughs> PSG, whoa, Dortmund. We just slayed the dragon. We slayed the big beast. We, we pimp slaps the boogeyman. We, we pimp slaps him. It was all about who's going to beat City. Who's going to beat City? City can't be beat. Back to back troubles. They can't be beat. They can't be beat. And you slayed the dragon. Oh, it's, it's done. Everything else is as easy. But you see, things have changed right now. And I, and I know you're actually comfortable in this position, but change, things have changed right now, guys. There's no attack on your back. As of right now, you are the favorites to win this trophy. If you look at the field, PSG, Dortmund, Bayern, you are the favorites to lift this championship. So if you look at the bookies and the people betting, oh, odds on favorites, Real Madrid, it's, 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 it's theirs. It's theirs. You have the talent, you have the character, you have the mentality, you beat arguably the strongest team in the competition. Oh, it's easy, it's easy money. But you've got to respect the UCL. And I know you do, see, I'm preaching to the choir, I'm preaching to the choir, but you've got to, you've got to, you've got to respect it. You've got to respect it. You've got to respect it. Danny, I know you're, I know you're, you're missing for this first leg, but tell these kids, because Danny, you've been there. 
You've bought the, the t-shirts and your UCL trophies, they've, they've been seen. Because I, 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 I remember that pass you made to Gotinaldo in that 2017 UCL final. So you know what it means to execute. So Danny, tell these guys. Because see, these kids, they think they know, but they don't know. They don't know. Does Kama really know? Does Chuchu really know? Does you really know? Vinny knows. Rigo knows. The figures, they don't really know. So just need to chuchu to these guys. Um, Lunin, you've been quality, but <laughs> that mistake is better than the silver. <laughs> and Lunin, you know what? It, it is a great, it's a, a great story. Let's prove you were third choice. You were third choice. <laughs> you were the side chick to the side chick to the side chick to the side chicks, side chicks, side chicks, friends, orphans, losers, drug addicts. That's also what, what, what you were. But now you're, you're first choice and You've been critical to Real Madrid's success. But you don't have thought to be, be huge here. <sighs> Vinny. Mm. This is where you can be that dude. Vinny, they're saying Ballon d'Or shouts. Now, what are they saying? Oh my gosh, his PR. Vinny. Because you, know, you know what's happening in June this year in America. Oh, say, can you say it? Yeah. Don't any night. You know what's happening there? But put that to one side. Focus on this. La Liga, that's what's happening, John. You don't have a UCL. You did score the chance of winning goal. You did give birth to Fernandinho and you did take legal rights to his existence. But you did that being a side trip to, to Benzema. You are now option A. You are now the Benzema. You, let's be real, this is your team. You are the face of this team. So to win your second UCL as the face of this team would be huge. But Bovini, in this game, transition tax. This team goes as far as you take them because we know that you can be an alpha. And I'm so proud of how. Remember, we had in the Brick Academy, we said, this guy's never going to make it. Is this guy really Bra Bra Brazilian? Fast forward to you are now Chief Oga. You are Chief Oga. You're, you're, you, are, you are the Chief Oga for me. So this team. Goes as far as you take them. You are the lead of this team. <laughs> you are the main guy of this team. And if I anticipate Mbappe to, to come, it would be very interesting if you, as a prime superstar, leads this team to a UCL. Or then we're having very interesting conversations. We're very, having very interesting conversations, but it starts here, but you being the African dude. Jude, man. Didn't have a great first against City. Second leg, it was, it was difficult, but despite that, you were critical, critical in the Rodrigo goal. And that was a very, very high-pressure penalty after Modric missed his. So we know that you've got the cards, you know you've got the ball, you know you have the personality. But Jude, this, this, this has been your coming out moment. And this is going to be huge as well for you because you've... Whatever happens, this has been a debut season of the ages. But Jude, I know you. I mean, I, I follow you on Instagram. I know you, man. And your mother is from the soil. You know, your mother is your skin, baby. Your skin, baby. All right? Black don't crack. Black don't crack, baby. So, so, so your mom is from the, from the soil. You know, skin. Skin, baby. Skin, baby. <laughs> so... As much as Vinny is the face of this team, Judy also have to be that dude. Every star needs a wingman. Every Jordan needs a Pippin. Every Romario needs a Bebezzo. Every Ronaldo needs a Rivaldo. So you play a very critical support role. And I know that you don't care how young you are. Similar to what I said to Michelle, I know that you are ready to take on the mantle right now. That you don't care about your age. You are, you've shown you are ready right now. And it starts here in his first leg. Jimmy, do your thing. Okay, predictions. Um, first leg. I feel. 
I'm, I'm going to go old school here. I feel Tuchel is going to have a, a strategy. I think he has studied Real Madrid very well. Um, I am curious about the Danica Abahal missing. Now, this is all dependent on who Tuchel has available to him. But I do feel, crucially, Musiala is going to be available. And I think when that happens defensively, Tuchel will have a plan B, plan Z to cater for that if Pamecano did the league to so is missing. Sane doesn't really matter because the guy's a bit bum anyway. So, as tough as this game is going to be for Ban, because Real Madrid are going to come for, for, for the win. Real and Carlo only play one way. They're going to come for, for, the, for the win. I don't see this as a ta tactical game. And I'm, I'm feeling, for this first leg, I'm feeling it's 2-1 to Bayern. Now, it's 2-1, I don't think is the ideal result for Bayern. It's fine. Bayern needed to go lead. For Real Madrid, they would take a one-goal deficit because taking a one-goal deficit back to the Bernabeu, I think Real were like, yeah, easy money. And Real could very easily say, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pack these guys up. 2-0-3-1, easy money. 2-0-3-1, easy money. But I do feel that Bayern will win this leg 2-1. If I'm, if I'm advising Bayern, you need a two-goal lead. Bayern, you need a two-goal lead going into that second leg. Because this since 2012, or 2013, it, it ain't a Bayern team. For this Bayern team, home leg, first leg, you need a two-goal lead. For Real Madrid, I said Real could very easily get a draw here, but I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm assessing everything. Real away, no Cabajal, first leg. Thinking about, about, about the second leg, Callum, Chilotti, Tuchel, I'm going to say 2-1 to Bayern in it. So guys, remember, I will be on Twitch. Join me for the live watch along on my Twitch channel. You can view that on the halfoffootballhot.com. The link towards there. I'll be live on Twitch. Watch along. Please join me. And I'll be back here afterwards um, on YouTube for our post-match live reaction. It gets real. Let's ride.